Ferrari is intrinsically linked to the V12 engine. An engine in this configuration powered its first ever road car and an engine in this configuration powers one of its greatest yet, the Ferrari GTC4 Lesso. Car brands talk a lot about emotion, but much of it is engineered or contrived. Not with this V12. From the moment you thumb the steering wheel mounted starter button and the GTC4's 6.3 liter motor fires into life, settling at a busy, flat idle, to the first chance you get to extend the delicate rev counter needle towards a devilish 8000 revolutions per minute, this motor will resonate with you. Or it will if you've got the even molecule of octane in your system. But the car is so much more than just an engine. In the transformation from FF, 4 seat, 4 wheel drive, to GTC 4 Lusso, this big Ferrari 4 seat GTE has gained some clever tech such as the four-wheel steering that made its debut on the F12 TDF and now has elevated the 812 Superfast to a stratospheric level of ability. The technology is integrated as part of the new 4RMS and improved 4RM Evo systems, which between them manage the distribution of torque to both axles, that rear-wheel steering system, the fourth generation of Ferrari's side-slip control SSC4, the E-Diff and the SCME adjustable suspension and damping. The car is also more aerodynamic than the FF, while the V12 now kicks out 681 bhp and 697 Nm of torque. But just because the motor revs to a heady 8250 revolutions per minute, don't think it means you have to. 80% of the torque figure is available from just 1750 revolutions per minute so the GTC4 pulls with real gusto low down. It offers the kind of throttle response you only get from a naturally aspirated engine, too. Relevant it right the way out and the snorting wail from that motor is one of the most addictive sounds around. Ferrari has actually reprogrammed the exhaust bypass valve so the GTC4 is even more refined than the FF at motorway speeds but use plenty of throttle and plenty of revs in the exhaust system, featuring new manifolds, delivers a suitable soundtrack. Launch control, four-wheel drive and a rapid-fire seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox means the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint is dispatched in just 3.4 seconds, which is impressive for a car with a curb weight of 1920 kilograms. Despite a near 3.0 meter wheelbase the GTC4's rear wheel steering means it's agile. In fact, on crowned and rutted UK roads its agility can even feel a little artificial, but once you get used to the rate of response from the fast and fairly light steering, and the speed with which the Ferrari turns in, it becomes natural to throw such a big car at fairly tight corners and lean on the marvelous level of grip. In the UK, you're always best selecting bumpy road mode for the suspension as soon as you get in. It gives the chassis more compliance and even on 20-inch wheels the Ferrari filters out nasty surfaces fairly well in this setting. Of course, you'll still feel ridges in the road, but the car isn't as upset by them as you'd think, and even on a bumpy road, traction is brilliant. You get the sense of rear-wheel drive balance shining through with the Manettino control dial set to sport mode, and with such power and torque the GTC4's rear axle will inevitably start to slide if you're overzealous with the throttle. But as the back tires start to spin up the Ferrari's four-wheel drive system cuts in to help out. This is unlike a conventional four-wheel drive system, as the front axle takes its power off the front of the engine through a separate gearbox while the torque vectoring and the reassuring hand of the side-slip control system mean the GTC4 Lusso feels fluid and fast. 